Hello, I'm Joe Pedersen. I've been awarded the uh, the Collaborative Visiting Artist Award between the uh, Museum of Glass and the Burke Museum. I'm a member of the Colville Confederated Tribes and my lineage is Okanagan and Arrow Lakes. My project for the Burke and for the Museum of Glass is to do a suite of work that is based on the baskets of my people from the Inland Plateau area of Washington State. When, when I think of basketry from the area, I, I always think of the, the legend that, that talks about the, the origin of the basket. When the cedar tree talks to the basket maker and shows her how, how to create a basket. And the, the weaver takes four times to create a, a basket that, that shows her proficiency. And on the fourth time, the, the cedar tree told the young weaver that she wanted her to embellish the basket with designs that referenced her environment. So when I think about my baskets, I think about the world around us and often how things have changed uh, from, from the beginning of the uh, making of baskets to today. Our world is very different. Our world encompasses uh, highways and parking lots and high voltage towers, but but there's still the eagles, the bears, and the wolves, and in uh, the land. The land, land is very instrumental in, in how I think about baskets. For the past several months, I've been working on, on developing designs to be made at the Glass Museum. And I've been doing research and looking at the archives of both the Burke Museum and the Museum of Art and Culture from, from Spokane. When I look at these baskets, I think about the designs and I think about how they're relevant today because when I started making baskets, I never I never wanted to copy or mimic a basket. I wanted it to be my story about what I'm thinking about and what I'm doing. So I'm using the research as a guide for future baskets. So I've, I've been using glass. I've been making these large rectangular pieces of glass that represent the world around us. And we have a parking lot design, a pickup, a coyote howling, and a star, and trees, and people. And these are um, over a, kind of a background of, of a geometric abstractions. Um, and looking at these geometric abstractions, you can see that on the inside, there, it references these mountain designs so that there'll be something inside as well as outside. So these pieces of glass, these, these tableaus or rectangles, they'll be heated up until they're soft. And at the glass museum, they'll be able to, to roll these up into a cylinder form like that into this, to the shape. And then they'll be able to blow these out into, into vessels like this. When I think about this project, I think about many things. And one of the things I think about is that it's been 10 years since I've worked with the Museum of Class. And uh, this time has gone by quickly and I'm really excited to come back and to do a new suite of work.